so many of them. Here it is. Put the second quadrant. What are you doing? It's doing the bone intro. Remembering everything doesn't mean you know everything. Tell me. Right, I just went to go see Jason Bourne. Who? The Jason Bourne movie. Who? The David Webb movie. Oh, him! Yeah. Oh, right, yes, yeah, yeah. How was that? Uh, it was okay. It's um, way better than Legacy, but doesn't quite match the original three. Okay. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. Why would it come back now? The plot this time is since Bourne's gone into, you know, into hiding, he's taken up street fighting. Hang on, so he's living off grid and he's bare knuckle boxing for a living? Yes. Like Rambo? Yeah. Anyway, he's brought back into action when Julia Stiles, who as well is still on hiding from Hollywood, seemingly. I mean, she isn't. <laughs> but she hacks the CIA and they're up to their usual tricks. Right. But she, she informs Bourne and says, but it's something involves you as well. Okay. The, the whole thing is kind of like about very, very current kind of ideas and themes about government surveilling people and how wrong that is. Okay. Um, well, it sounds like it could be quite interesting. You can't fault its moral standpoint, so what it's trying to say politically, but um, it, the actual story itself is a bit kind of over the top and doesn't quite, Not quite work. It's a lot like Spectre. In order to make this fourth one seem, because they kind of finished the story of the third one, but they try and bring in something that seems to tie all the previous films together. Right. But it doesn't work. Well, okay. it doesn't work for me. So a lot like Christoph Waltz is the whole thing of just like, James, I am the author of all your pain. <laughs> they bring in a, it's a twist that comes sort of, I won't say what it is. It comes quite early on in the film, but it's a sort of similar thing where it, it both seems a bit fictional, but also shrinks the world. Paul Greengrass is back. Mm -hmm. Good thing or bad thing? Good thing. Well, because Paul Greengrass has certainly because because Jason well the Bourne identity I like a lot. It's really good. I love yeah. The Bourne franchise I think arguably only became the massive sensation that it did really with the arrival of Greengrass. Yes. Um, he is still. He likes a shaky camera. Yeah, but he's got better. It's funny from supremacy to ultimatum. It's like it's like you know he's 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 drinking less coffee or something because the camera's got a bit steadier and it's steadier even more so with this. Okay. One. So the shaky cam isn't a problem. The problem is the action scenes are on a slightly more again to warrant the idea that we've got another film. They've upped the levels of the action. <laughs> When he left, when he heightens the tension, you, you, he does. You can't help but get excited. Yeah, well, I mean, he's he's got a background in journalism and video journalism, and mm. he knows how to make you really feel like you're there. Yeah. In the scene, like um, you know, he he, he uses a lot of handheld cameras. Like you watch like Bloody Sunday. I mean, you genuinely really feel like shit. You're there. Yeah. And you do feel kind of this real sort of sense of fear. It's, and that that's still here with this one, but because the action is almost similar to a Bond film. Right. It doesn't work quite well. I see, yeah, I see what you mean. But Matt Damon's great. He's back. Matt Damon's Which has got to be a plus. Both Greengrass and Matt Damon, they say they've come back because of like, they didn't have a storyteller. Now, I do think they genuinely, that is probably the main reason, but because of the, the, the political standpoints of the film, you can tell that was their going, well, no, we've got something to say. Yeah, well, because I, I think, because Matt Damon said after the third one he would do Born Again but only if Greengrass was on board. Yeah. Now, I kind of get the feeling that Greengrass is not, he's not a shill. No. He would only be involved if he thinks there is something interesting to do. And I, I think they, they do have something interesting to do, but because they're bringing Bourne back, they have to do it with this very forced, silly twist that brings all the movies together, and that's the thing that cheapens it. But it's still worth watching. Tommy Lee Jones is in it, um, and he's sort of replacing the Brian Cox role of you know, the main guy at the CIA who's hunting yeah. him down. And he's good in his usual kind of, you know, grumpy way. Like, I'm so, I'm bored of doing this type thing. Mm. Right. But he's so overtly evil that it's almost like a parody of the other, of Brian Cox's character, people like that. It's basically, right. he basically has things just kind of like, make sure you kill those children to get, make them get out of the way. You know, he's saying things that are so obviously like, you know, 
uh, civilians are not a problem, or whatever. Right, yeah, and it makes him too villainous. What if he's not coming for us? What if it's something else? How does this feel now, after you've watched this? Does it feel like this is the final bit now, or is it just... Are they leaving it open for more? I mean... They must be, presumably, if it takes money. They sort of leave it open for more, but again, you sort of feel like, how are they going to bring him back? And unlike Bond, which has the luxury of going so OTT and having a new new crazy storyline, you could have voodoo and stuff, hmm. the Bond film is locked to the real world, which means bringing him back again and again and again is, is difficult, and also means the films become a bit repetitive. The original trilogy, they're very repetitive same, films. Same movie. The same movie each time, but they somehow build on a storyline and him discovering himself. Mm. He's discovered himself by the end of the third one. So with this fourth one, you can have some crazy twists, you can have stuff like that, but it, it, it does just feel forced. But anyone who likes Bourne films, you'll still get a kick out of some of the sequences. But this film didn't need to be made. Lower your expectations a little, and, you know, um, if you like the original three. But um, there's still stuff to like here. And Jason Bourne is he's such a badass. You can't help but you kind of want to have his skills and stuff. Yeah. And because Matt Damon's so likeable, yeah. it just all works. Actually, I've been trying to get in touch with Matt Damon, actually, because yeah, I'd like to speak to him, actually, but he's, a, he's actually quite a difficult person to get hold of. Yeah. yeah. Hello? I hear you're still looking for me. It's Matt Damon. I actually want to. I want to present you with this Master Chief helmet. If that's if that's all right. Is that official? Well, I mean, it. I mean, it's a replica, but it, it it looks quite smart. Goodbye. Oh oh oh! Goodbye then. You sure you don't want it? Get some rest, Pam. You look tired. My name's not Pam.